Good evening. Good evening. I'm just waiting on a couple of people to get on. So, um, tonight and with mommy, I just came to give a quick, quick, quick message. I don't want to do too much. I don't want to, you know, overload or do anything like that. But what I do want to do is encourage on tonight. So if y'all would just bear with me real, real quick. I am just looking at here. This is trying to uh, make sure that I'm uh, getting this out here. Just bear with me. Bear with me. Bear with me. Um... Okay, like I said, quick, 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 quick word. I pray y'all's day has been well. Nothing missing, nothing broken. Y'all are doing the will and the work of the one who has sent you. And uh, we're going to get this thing going here um, hold on okay so okay well all right so what I want to do hold on I I am really trying to to work this out. So bear with me. Um, um, okay. All right. So, um, all right, like I was saying, quick 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 little message what i want to do is be able to encourage you on tonight be able to tell you that god is with you so right now in this season of our lives we are experiencing some crazy warfare some stuff is going on that we don't even really understand we don't really even try to attempt to understand it anymore stuff is coming up on you like wait a minute are you serious right now i know me in just the last past two weeks in this year period has gone by and it has been a whirlwind. But what I will tell you, this last past couple of weeks has been like crazy, crazy stuff. So instead of me saying, woe is me, woe is me, what I've learned to do is just say, okay, I have to laugh sometimes at what the enemy tries to do to just, you know, to keep God's people from processing what it is that God wants them to have. You know, he wants you to have so much more than where you are right now. He wants you to go to the next level and the next level and the next level. And the problem is, as he's pulling us up, the enemy is pulling us down. So there's a shifting and a whirlwind and a, and a very, very bad storm brewing. Okay. And that storm is not going to overtake you because the one thing you need to know is that God overpowers everything. So I just have a quick word. As you saw in the uh, caption, it says, uh, Keep your head down and graze. Okay, that, that is the message for today. Keep your head down and graze. And I'm coming out of Psalms uh, 23 verse 1. And it says, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Just as simple as that. Too simple, right? The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. What did David know that it seems like we don't know? I mean, how is it that he can say the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want when there's so much stuff going on right now and I won't. I won't. I want healing. I want a job. I want my finances to be good. I want my family to be saved. I want my family to be healed and whole. There's so many things that I'm wanting right now. How is it that I can sit back and say, or how is it that David can sit back and say that the Lord is his shepherd and he shall not want? What exactly did he know that we're not really picking up? Well, first off, David called himself a sheep. OK, and he needed to be shepherded. So what happens is sheep 
delicate creatures, right? Delicate, delicate creatures, but they're so smart, so smart. One of the things that I learned <clears throat> about a sheep and David calling himself a sheep by saying the Lord is my shepherd. Sheep need their shepherd, okay? Sheep have great eyesight. OK, the problem is, is that their eyes sit on the side of their heads. OK, and when their eyes sit on the side of their head and their pupils are shaped like rectangles. OK, and they go this way, horizontal. OK, so it's sitting on the side of their head and their pupils are shaped like rectangles and they're sitting on the side of their head. So their peripheral vision is excellent and it goes like this. OK, it goes, you know, just a little ways, a little here, a little there. Well, when it comes to looking straight forward going forward, they have a little bit of a problem with, okay? Because when it comes to looking forward, their vision is limited. So they don't see as well when it's time to move forward. So they depend and rely on the shepherd's voice. And in John 10, he says that my sheep know my voice and another they will not follow. So if that is the case, we are his sheep, we hear his voice, and another we won't follow. So if we are like sheep and our vision is like sheep, so we got excellent peripheral vision, but it's hard for us to walk forward without hearing the shepherd. So when the sheep hear the shepherd, they move. Okay? Y'all got that right? When sheep hear the shepherd, they move. And they know which way to move because the shepherd is directing. All right? And then on top of that, what happens, and this is how I said that he is moving in the fact, he's moving in the fact that he's saying, okay, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Why is he saying this? It's because he needs to be guided, okay? He needs to be guided and we need to be guided. So he's comparing himself to the sheep, just like I just said. And as we compare ourselves to the sheep, our vision is like the sheep, okay? It's hard for us to move forward without hearing God's voice, so hear God's voice in this season. Now, the one thing about sheep is that when it's time to move forward, yeah, they don't see so well. But when they put their head down and they're grazing, their vision becomes almost 360. Okay? So they're completely blind from behind. No sense of what's behind them when they're looking forward and their head is up. But when their head is down and they're grazing, their vision becomes 360. So now they don't just have peripheral vision up like this, but when their head's down and they're grazing, now their, their vision becomes all the way to the back as well as to the front. Yeah, it didn't hit me at first either. But let me tell you, when we keep our head down and graze, that means we are praying head down bow down praying. We're praying and we're grazing. That means we're eating the word. Okay. When you eat the word, you consume the word and you're praying. You can see everything that's going on around you. Nothing will be left unseen. Okay. You will not be overtaken. So in this season, when it seems like you're being overtaken and it's one thing after another, my suggestion to you is just like David, the Lord is our shepherd. We shall not want OK, the only way we're going to make it out of this thing is if we keep our head down and graze. All right. That means keep your head down. Pray, graze, eat the word. If nothing else, eat the word, consume it. Not just part of the scroll, but the whole scroll needs to be eaten. So on tonight, I just want to leave you with that. Psalms 23 and 1, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And we need to keep our head down in grace. So on tonight, when everything is hitting you, when you're thinking about everything that went on in the day, you're thinking about what came into your ear gates and what came into your eye gates, how your body is feeling, how your family is reeling out of control, how the job is acting crazy, or you even lost your job. Remember the key, keep your head down and graze. So on tonight, let's just pray out. Most gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you. We glorify you, Father, because you are worthy. And Lord, on tonight, Lord, as we have humbled ourselves, O God, and called you our shepherd, that we shall not want for anything, O God. We thank you, O Heavenly Father, for the ability, O God, to keep our head down and graze in this season, O God. This season, O Heavenly Father, where the enemy has tried to come, O Father, and take us out. 
Lord, we thank you that you've covered our ear gates and our eye gates, oh Father. We thank you that your precious anointing is on us, oh God. And we thank you, oh Heavenly Father, that in this season, oh God, you are going to lead us out just as every other season. And we do have the victory. And we pray these things in your precious Son, Jesus' name. Amen. Y'all have a blessed night.